Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again and this time, who the hell am I going to play as? I don't actually know. I'm going to play as Horror. It's been a little while since I played as Horror. Oh wait, uh, I should check what other guns we have unlocked this game. I always forget to do that. Um, I've got to go enter for the main menu. Always forget to check that. I don't even know if I have any. Okay, I do have um, a crossbow by the looks of it. And I don't have any skins unlocked for him, but let's do it. I don't know how good this thing is, but... We definitely do know it's a bolt weapon. And it is one that you can charge. Okay. Bolt weapons are always my favorite to start with because you can get burn marrow going. So if I do a weak charge, it does 10 damage. If I do a strong charge, it does 20, 25. By the way, once again, I feel like I'm saying this relatively often right now. But I really do apologize about the lack of Nuclear Throne episodes coming out. I realize that... Um, Sometimes I let it go a little while. It's just, this series, while I do love it, it can just get pushed to the wayside every now and again when there's a lot of other things going on in the channel. I always forget this guy gets an extra uh, mutation pick. I think I'm going to go with the glass armor. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's it's always one that gets pushed to the wayside. And with it being a weekend series, um, it, it can be... Oh, that was a bad death there. Uh, it can be one that, that can unfortunately... Um, land on like if i don't have any episodes backlog which honestly with this series i rarely do it means that i can come across a time where i want to record it on the weekend but then i end up being busy unexpectedly which obviously weekends are kind of the most likely time for that to happen um so that, that's that's just what happens sometimes but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and be a lot more um a lot more on it with this series because I know there's a lot of you out there that love it and I really, really enjoy playing it too. At the minute, I'm recording uh, episodes to uh, be used over the Christmas holiday here. So, Scary Vest is pretty good. Uh, to be used over the Christmas holiday here. So, um, I'm going to get at least two available. Um, and I'm... I'm not sure yet, but I might I might bring back the two episodes a weekend with Need for Throne. That kind of, again, was one of those things that fell by the wayside, more so just because of time than anything else. But I know that, again, a lot of people like the series, so maybe doing two episodes every weekend would be better for everyone. So do let me know if you support that decision. I'm sure many of you that enjoy the series would. Um... Oh, bollocks, dude! Game's tough. Okay, so one thing that I'm uh, realizing is, for one, I'm not very good at the game because I haven't played it in a little while. But two, the bow with the charge is not particularly amazing to do full charges with because it kind of just takes up a lot of time. Um, pop rifle there, good. So we are going to be losing some stuff to that. But I think basically once we get bolt marrow early, we're in the running for a really good run. So let's try, let's try and find that, shall we? Um, I actually think I'm going to try and grab ourselves the um, the inversion magnet. There you go. Just because that's a, a, a lot of fun. I'm going to the inverted floors. Can be tricky, but pretty good. Um, increases, ki uh, each kill increases drop rate, all weapons reload and decreases accuracy slightly. Yeah, let's go with that. I like that. Especially like the fire rate, because if it if it increases the fire rate with this thing, like how quickly it charges up, I'll be very happy. Oh god, I did not see you there. Big bandits in the house. Wow, that was a very quick kill on the big bandit there. I like that. We should get an inversion area, hopefully, but it's not always guaranteed with the inversion magnet, it's just a higher chance. Okay, unfortunately we didn't get one. It is as it is. We do get a level up though. And there it is. Bolt Marrow. Okay. We're now in the running for a very good run here. As long as I don't take too much contact damage. As long as I'm not too much of an idiot. But this thing, with the amount of damage you can output and herming, seems like it's going to be really, really good. I need to also realise that with a lot of these enemies, I don't need to do a full charge. They're going to die in one hit regardless. So that's something that I need to pay a little more attention to. Like these guys, I can just fire it. When there's a group of enemies there, I probably want to charge it a little more. Direct to Slugger. Oh, there's our inversion hole there. Which sounds a little wrong. I don't really know if I want to be saying inversion hole very often, but there you go. 
Um, and the main reason why I go to these floors, they are significantly harder so that I could die, but it's for this right here. The ability to get uh, upgrades on the regular. That was close. Toxic crossbow could be pretty good, but I'm going to stick with this. Yeah, I think as long as we're careful. Also, we got item drop on this, which means that health and ammo drop from enemies that we kill more regularly, which is really nice. Um, I think we'll go with Tough Shell here. Go for a bit of survivability. Oh, I forgot it takes us here. Okay, we're one shot in the purple, guys, which is really nice to see. Didn't think we would be. I wonder what about the missile guys. Okay, one shot in them too, nice. We are losing rage pretty rapidly here because I keep getting hit. Golden plasma gun unlocked, lovely to see. Right. Let's go back over to the inverted hull. <clears throat> I said I wasn't going to say that again, but... It's happened. Now again, this could be a rather tricky floor here, so let's be careful. We got item drop again. I, I don't actually know. Can I just get double item drop? I can. Okay, that has the potential to be very strong. That has the potential to be extremely strong, because we're going to be getting a lot of drops here. Um, small aim assist slash homing, see further, better accuracy. That's all pretty good, but I think we're going to go for scarier face. Actually, no, let's go for impact wrists. I actually highly rate impact wrists in this mod, so... Yeah, we are seeing crazy... Remember, we don't have Rabbit's Paw right now. We're seeing crazy amount of drops here. Keep losing our rage, though. It's slightly sad. This is fun. I'm liking this. I do need a bit more defense. I will say that. There's our inverted hole there. Not enough to open it yet. There must be a, a hole over here somewhere with a bunch of enemies in it. Down this way? No. There very much is. Wow. Okay, there you go. We've opened it up. Good, good. The inverted places, they are definitely risky, but I'm liking it. Ooh, what was that? I, I just missed that there. That would have been interesting to have a look at. I think we're going to take Rabbit's Paw for even more drops. Now, there is going to be some very aggressive explosive enemies down here. This is why we have impact risks, though. We're just making ourselves so much room. Right, by the way, I realize I'm not using this guy's laser very much. I tend to find this guy's laser is not super useful until you get to max rank. That was really bad. I just walked directly into that. There we go, though. We get Splinter. That's good stuff. I think we actually have a really good setup now. Where's this enemy? I'm loving the music down here, wow. Okay, with the splinter, it one-shots. Nice. Oh, balls. I could die here. I did not consider the fact that I'd be fighting the inverted version of this dude. We might end up doing enough damage for it to be okay, but at the same time, we might not. Okay, we got him. Yeah, we did enough damage for it to be okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the 
there's frost right there. Fuck you, game. <laughs> I really wanted frost. Frost is super, super powerful. Oh, God. There's an enemy behind me that I did not see at all. Oh, my goodness. That was very tricky. Oh, balls. I left so much stuff on that stage. Um, Plutonium Hunger, just because we've got so much drops coming up. Uh, flame. I don't actually think we want Flame right now. Oh, it, it, it could do item drop just on hitting the enemy. It doesn't have to be, have to be a kill. There's a lot of very big missiles coming towards us right now. Okay, let's just be careful here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is definitely feeling risky, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Cheshire Cat, of course. Cheshire Cat isn't that bad, but inverted Cheshire Cat is particularly deadly. As you just saw, what in the bollocks just happened to me? Okay, 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 okay. That was a very annoying one to lose. I'm kind of calling BS on that, because uh, that was redonkulous. I just died in like 0.1 of a second there. But I will say... We got a lot better with the bow on that run, so we can probably do a lot better this time round. Can we get the inverted magnet here? I don't think we can. I I'm probably going to do that same thing again. I quite like taking that path. It's quite nice. Gimme, gimme. Good, good. Okay, that's level two. Um, Bloodlust this time, maybe? Maybe that was somewhere we went wrong last time? Uh, not really. It was just the boss that insta-killed us, wasn't it, really? So, it doesn't really come into the equation. Maybe it was just not upgrading my gun quick enough. I need to change my guns up a little bit. Like, this thing's good, but it's not, like, god tier. Bullet shotgun. Don't think that's going to do too much for us. No inverted place this time around either. Sometimes you don't get until late game. It's fine. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's go for... Hmm. Go for Euphoria. The invincibility after a short time would have saved our life last time, so... I like the way that this kind of game is just like, with using guns like this, it kind of plays like an aim trainer. Are you kidding me? How did I not kill that guy? Oh wait, did I just throw the gun? Oh no, that was just my last bow. Okay, we now unfortunately only have the actual inversion magnet itself. Excuse me. Really? And then it gave me ammo for the wrong fucking thing. Are you kidding me? Can I get bow ammo please? Really? No bow ammo at all? All of that ammo I picked up and none of it's for the bow? Are you kidding me, game? This is not good. We're going to be heading to an inverted floor with no ammo for our bow. Oh, wait, we, we did manage to get some. We managed to get some. Right, I'm going to set the bullet popper just for now. Just so we can clear out the floor, then I'm going to come back to the inversion magnet. Dude, what's with all the fucking mimics? Dude! <laughs> what's with all the fucking mimics? Go away. That's like the third one I found that run.
Balls to you, game. Balls to you. What I need is two bolt weapons so I can only get bolt ammo. And that's exactly what I just found, so... Good start. God damn, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm trying it again. I want to make this work. Um, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Right. Keep on pushing through. Assault rifle. Unfortunately, we can't pierce through Big Bandit. That doesn't matter too much for us right now. No inverted? No inverted. Darn. There's the bolt marrow we're looking for. I think that's what we've been missing these other few runs. We had that from the, from the get-go on that last run, so... It is pretty important. It does make bolt weapons significantly better. Spinner yo-yo gun. Seems decent, but the inversion magnet is just better. For what we're trying to do, at least. Be very careful of this guy, because he can do a lot of damage to me. Okay, doing better. We're doing better. Holy shit, that's a lot of enemies. So, okay, where's that upgrade thing as well? Good, good, keeping our ammo going. There it is. Is that frost? That's lightning. I think it just ate it up. I'm gonna hope it did. Try that out. I've never, I've never tried this before with the new version. Hey, it is there, good. Okay, lightning? Lightning seems pretty good on this thing. Ow. Bad hit. The close dodges drop resources sometimes. Sounds like it could be really good. I don't actually know if it is or not, it might be terrible. Golden Shovel. Okay, nice. Golden Shovel ain't bad at all. Let's take Rhino Skin. Get some protection going. Explosive on top of this thing as well. Very nice. Seems like a good combo. Just gotta be careful I don't kill myself with it. Got a lot of golden weapons unlocked doing this path. This path is actually really good for just stacking golden weapons. Dude, how did that not kill that guy in one hit? Balls. Health is not looking so hot right now. Let me see what this is. Sacrifice weapon mods. Hmm. I only sacrificed one. It only sacrificed lightning. And it took me here. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this floor before, but I've never seen this way to get to this floor. Intriguing. Yeah, this is rather intriguing. 
Did not know this existed. Okay, I've never been to the, the uh, inverted version of this floor before. So this place could be crazy. Ow. The Doom Pistol could be good. Ow, what the hell? That wrecked me. Let me just go see if the Doom Pistol is the one I'm thinking of. Yes, it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. I'll take I'll take a loss on the inversion magnet for now. Gamma gut seems good. So basically, you just spam the hell out of this, and it just goes runs around and does everything for you. It's pretty awesome. Oh, there's another guy there. Hello. It's pretty beautiful. There you go, everything's dead. <laughs> um, kills regenerate ammo could be good. The bush box is pretty tricky. You've got to like stand at the right angle to him to not get hit by him. Oh my god. Oh my god. There are so many enemies down there. What the hell? What on earth? There's so many enemies down here. There's still so many enemies down here. What the hell? Oh, Doom Rifle? Yes, please. I love the Doom weapons. Holy shit, the Doom Rifle is a lot better. If I just have three at once. <clears throat> oh no, it killed me! <laughs> God damn, that was a really fun one though. God damn, I love this game so much. This mod, Ultra Mod, is just the best. Just the best. It really is something special. One of the best mods on any game, I think. Beautiful. Oh, it's always annoying you don't get to level 2 on the first stage. It's always a shame. Right. We need to get a gun pretty fast. Where the hell's our guns? I'm just going to ignore all of you and pick this up for now. Good, good. It didn't give us the inversion magnet, what the heck? I don't know why. I am confusioned. Okay, I guess we'll leave that behind this time. Um... Rage again. Good, good, level three. Oh, big bandit, hello. I love the way that with this weapon, he just doesn't get a chance to do anything. We just wreck him straight away. Give me back my Doom weapons, please. I wonder if there's any way to get any of them gold, because that would be awesome. I'm going to guess not. But that would be really cool.
God damn, I keep getting multi kills by accident here. I ain't complaining though. Fucking mimics, get out of here. Shitheads. Um, Insomnia? Insomnia is just super good for these smaller stages with less enemies. You can basically kill like half the stage before they have any time to react. It's pretty beautiful. Get gone, you. Good, good. We're speeding through the levels here. What the fuck? There's so many of these fire salamanders here. Now that was a good use of insomnia there. We got loads killed. Ow, I lost a lot of rage there. That's kind of sad. I have stacked it really high right now. Hey, we got an inverted area anyways. Awesome. That's what I like to see. Shotgun, why not? Also got a grenade shotgun there, which I guess I'll take. Seems like it could be pretty fun. Yeah, shotgun's pretty good with this. Oh damn, this thing seems deadly. Right, let's just spam this guy with explosions. Because this guy is nutty. Oh, there's a little missile chasing me. Go away. Ah, ah, ah. I don't want it. Wow. Okay, that went well. Um. Oh, duh, 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 duh. I think I want to go with a preload again. The preload's pretty useful. I like the way some of the enemies are asleep, but they still just walk around. Because they, they're like enemies that just can't stop. Do you like the way that I walk directly in the path of that laser continuously? That was pretty smart, wasn't it? This floor is so difficult. I do like the way that the, the developer designed these alternate floors to be sort of possible to accidentally find. Like I just accidentally went to this floor then. It's nice. I don't know how good this would be with um, herming. I imagine pretty good. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure, but auto explosive crossbow sounds better, I'll be honest. Sounds very good. Impact wrists on top of this. Sounds good to me. Purple dragon. Apparently we're straight into the fight here. We just spawned next to the fight. Fuck me, this is proving to be a hard fight already. Dude, dude. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.